Hi there, Dan Edwards with the Eastside Real Estate team, and I was asked a question from a seller about pricing. Now, many of you hear me talk about pricing, and what I always refer to whenever we're getting a property ready to go is about positioning, and that's positioning your property against the competition. Now, the question that was asked is, hey, well, why don't we just go ahead and list our property X amount of dollars? We know that the market doesn't necessarily support that, but we can try that for two weeks and then lower it. And then, um, you know, everything will be okay. And my answer, to my quick answer to that is first impressions are everything. So it makes sense to really make sure that you know um, exactly where to best position yourself and then pay attention to how the market responds. Now, I've got three reports here on this particular property in question. And the first report is home sold in 30 days or in the contract of 30 days or less. My second report is home sold in uh, 60 days or less and then 60 or more. So that's my three reports. Now, um, one thing of note, just to begin with, is in that same price range where they're at, there were 35 homes. Uh, I take that back, 34 homes that were sold in 30 days or less. The 60-day window, there were 17 homes sold in 60 days. And then that number goes down to six. Six days so sold with a, a four still on the market that are past that 60-day window. So when you look at the big picture, uh, you know, what about price? I mean, just because it stayed on longer, maybe we ended up getting more money. Interesting thing to that is we have a statistic. It's a list price to sale ratio. And if you look at the, uh, the, the 30 days or less on the market, you get 98.08% of your list to sales price ratio. When you go to the uh, 60 days um, or less, you get 97.42. And when you go to your 60 plus, you get 97.17. So it would insinuate that your list price to sales price ratio actually goes down the lower you're on. So it's a kind of a double, it's a lose-lose, essentially, by not, try, not positioning it properly. If you position it within the realm of competition, you're going to spend less time on the market. You're going to make more money. That's what you want to do. I'm Dan Edwards with the Eastside Real Estate Team. I hope you followed that. I'm sure you followed it. It wasn't that complicated. I hope you found that useful. So um, have a great and happy 2015. Bye-bye.